Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. Day 18 of the Liquid Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Please doing my easy six mile or whatever. People say that I don't do it during the day. So I'm just showing you what the day looks like here. All right, let's go. Whew. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 18 of the Liquid Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. I took a nap, so hopefully I'm a little bit more refreshed. Yesterday was a mess, wasn't it? Uh, both the video and also the poem was a little bit tricky. Hope y'all did okay. Uh, let's take a look at today's poem. I don't have much to do, uh, say. Uh, I ran five miles today, six miles, something like that. Tomorrow, I have eight miles in the morning, uh, and then 10 miles after that. And then it is two weeks to New York uh, marathon, in case you're wondering. Uh, now, I'll hit up my spam again if you're in uh um if you if, I, i'm gonna be in uh in november and december parts of it uh in montevideo uh buenos aires uh santiago uh Ashanshan. i mean i'm saying that way i mean i'm not saying that way in paraguay and rio uh in brazil so if you're in any of those cities let me know uh we will catch up get some food snacks whatever uh and yeah, let me know in, in uh, the Discord because it's just easier to go back and forth for organizing. Uh, there's a channel called like Meet Up With Larry or something just in, and I kind of, um, yeah, just to have it in general. So that'll be fun. Anyway, all right, let's take a look at today's problem. We have 3397, maximum number of distinct elements after operations. Uh, you give an engine away nums and an integer K. You're allowed to perform the following operation on each element of the array at most once. Okay. Add an integer in the range uh, negative k to k to the element. Seems fair enough. Um, return the maximum possible distinct elements and nums after performing the operation. I see. Okay. Um, it is going to be greedy. I think the, the thing that we want to do um, is first is to sort, right? Sort gives us a structure that we can do either left to right or right to left. But in this problem, I don't think it matters in the sense that it's symmetric, right? As long as you're consistent. And then the idea that I would have is just to, um, you know, if, if it, it, it's kind of similar to what we did, is it yesterday or the day before with the uh, maximum or minimum excluding, right? It's just to greedily create that number, right? So then we have, um, yeah, we just get the next number that's available. Um, we have to be a little bit careful though, I suppose. No, because the pigeonhole, there should be at most O of N, right? Because I think that's the thing. Because um, I was going to say, like, we have to be careful with the implementation. We have to do while loops. Uh, while loops, especially when N is up to 10 to the ninth, can be very scary. But like as I said, um, it should be okay. And the key thing to note, right, is that we can just kind of walk it up and and that should be good. Um, and okay, I mean, I think I got it, but I think I do want to give a visualization. I think my words are fine maybe, but I think I'm not super precise in either case. Um, but, but I think the, the key thing is realizing that you have to sort it because sorting is um, something that you should always think about in general just because uh, I mean, obviously, some problems, if you think about it, you're like, okay, no, we cannot sort it, right? But once you can sort it, you you know, even if it, you don't need it, sorting is just so cheap, right? It's n log n, um, you almost cannot, like, it doesn't really change the result, even if it doesn't do anything. Um, I mean, unless it gives you the wrong answer, because you're not supposed to, because the order matters. But when the order doesn't matter, uh, that's what I would say, right? And... And the sorting, basically, let's just say we have, uh, actually, let's just take a look at the first example. I think that looks okay, right? So you have like, uh, so the way that I would think about it is maybe just draw out a number line uh, for the visualization. And maybe we have, uh, you know, this is the point one, this is two, this is three, this is four, right? So you have one, do, do, uh, how many threes do we have? Uh, whatever, we could just do two and then like, I don't know, two, right? And then the idea here is just greedy, well, uh, move everyone to the as left as possible, right? And why do we want to do that? Well, um, I think it's just to sp space them out as much as possible because when you go negative K, well, there were only two scenarios, right? Well, here, nothing occupies it, so then it doesn't change anything. At worst, or even at best, maybe it doesn't change anything, right? Um, and then here, you can see that 
now you, you know you have two things so then it has to kind of map uh in the next one and then here uh keep in mind that this is already gone and you know and so forth right and then basically just kind of filling out the space as much as much as we can almost like um almost like a counting sword with a constraint that you can only go up to negative k right um and that's it uh negative k and k obviously and obviously if you cannot then um well, if you cannot, then you just kind of, I mean, it's just number of distinct, right? So for this particular problem, and if you cannot, then it's just not a new distinct number, right? Okay, so, okay, so then now we just do, the, we just pass number one by one, right? Uh, and what do we want to do? Um, let's just say we have the, um, let's just say we have seen, right, maybe... I don't even know if this is quite necessary, but we have the last number, let's just return it to, uh, set it to negative infinity, right? Um, and then now, and last is basically what we want to set last means, um, kind of you think back about the visualization, this is the, the smallest number you can set this current number to, right? Um, yeah, that's basically what it sounds like. Um, because you cannot go to the left of it because you assume that everything to the left of it, um, there are two conditions, two scenarios, right? One is that, um, well, you just can't go because K is not big enough, so you can't go around. But then the other thing is that if K intersects, that means that a previous number already taken up that spot because we're trying to pack it as close as possible, right? We're leaving no gaps. So by by kind of that kind of uh, definition, and you can kind of maybe visualize it a little bit better. Maybe I could redraw this a little bit. But the idea here is that, um, let's say you have here, um, and let's just, you know, maybe we could do a cutoff here, and let, you could pretend that maybe K is up to here, right? Uh, negative K, anyway. Uh, and then the idea here is that here, everything is going to be taken because there's no gaps because of the previous... Uh, maybe item we already fill out all the gaps that we can and so so this is basically the line that we're we're keeping track of um yeah okay and that's what this last line is too okay so then now uh and maybe and i don't even know if seen is necessary to be frank but um yeah and the only way that uh, uh maybe we have a count also is equal to zero right so then now if x minus k is um, I look, I, I'm just thinking about greater than or greater than, you know, it doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent with your definition, right? So if this is the case, um, or, or maybe last, it could be the next available, maybe you could, maybe that's a little bit cleaner, uh, which is the last used because I say last to mean last used, but I guess technically that's not what I'm setting up for. I mean, they're the same. You just start by one, but yeah, if this is the case, then we said next available is equal to X minus k plus one right and then count increment by one and then continue otherwise then now um uh otherwise then we just take the next available right so then if next available is i mean this is this should be by definition true right because this is the inverse of this, but I, I like to write it, write it out for symmetry reasons, uh, right? Uh, basically, if this is out of bound, then then now, uh, yeah, next available, we just increment by, uh, or we set, so we use next available, so we increment by one, right? Because next available, we just set x to next available, so then now we increment next available by one, throwing out the next slide, and we up count. Uh, otherwise, that means that, um, Otherwise, it means things available is greater than x plus k, uh, which means that we cannot use this number. And so we technically, this is a continue, but obviously there's not much to continue. So and then that's it. I don't think we really need scene. Um, I thought maybe we need it, but I don't know. Let me double check, I suppose. Uh, maybe the, 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 uh, the code will tell. <laughs> The uh, test cases will show me one. But now, today, we're, we're happy today. 2027 20, day streak. Um, yeah, what is complexity here? Well, we do do a sort, so it's going to be n log n. No, really, and then it's just a very cheap, very um, easy uh, linear loop. So, yeah, n log n time. 
And yeah, you could maybe say, oh, and space, because sorting is always awkward. But uh, what a hint. What a, can we use sorting here? Okay, yeah. Um, that's basically it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. To your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.